I'm John Valentino, president of John and Bob's Smart Soil Solutions. And today we're going to focus on heavy clay soil and how to deal with it in a way that uh, makes it workable and gardenable. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Chip and I plan to be doing a lot more uh, videos for you. If you like them, please click on like and click on subscribe and click on the bell so that you'll be notified every Sunday when we uh, post our new videos. Uh, we're here behind our office in a spot where on April 17th we planted a garden, which you can check out on another video. And on May 4th, which is today on this beautiful uh, 107 degree day, uh, we picked a lot of stuff which we've been doing for some time. Actually the first picking of the eggplant, we've been picking zucchini and uh, three different kinds of cucumbers for some time now. They're in full production and we'll continue to update you on that. But now on to heavy clay soil and how to deal with it. Okay, so we're back in, in a problem soil area on our own property and it does have some clay in it. Uh, in addition to having some clay in it, it's extremely hard and dry. Uh, you can see if you hit it with a shovel, uh, not much happens. You could, I could try to, <laughs> it's kind of like putting it on the tip of concrete. The first step to make it much easier is to spray it with penetrate liquid biotiller, but the penetrate works best if the soil is moist. If the soil is completely dry like this, it uh, does not uh, enter the soil like we want it to. So the first step would be to moisten the soil to, uh, and I know with clay, there's a, there's a fine uh, tricky point there. You can't, uh, you don't want it so wet that you can't work in it, which happens very quickly with clay. Uh, or if you do water it too much, then you let it dry out before you work in it. But what we want to do is get it nice and moist and not moist just on the top quarter inch but we want to try to see if we can get that water to penetrate as deeply as possible. That'll help our penetrate uh, work to its best uh, capacity. After we moisten it, we're going to spray it uh, with uh, penetrate at about uh, eight ounces uh, per thousand square feet in a gallon of water. And then uh, because we're just starting here and it's very compacted, we are going to till. You don't need to till, you could do anything. You could rip, you could use a spade, any way to try to uh, improve the exchange of air and water in the soil. You need to break up the soil if it's very compacted. We are uh, going to abide by you know, a no-till uh, no strategy long term, but initially to get this uh, garden started in this heavy clay or compacted soil, we're going to moisten it, spray it with penetrate. That penetrate is going to help us work in it initially. It gives some immediate benefits from the penetrant in it, which is saponin. And then we'll, in this case, we're going to show you how we're going to till it. We're going to till it just as deeply as we can, and uh, then we'll go from there. We're going to spread the blend over the rough grade. We just tilled it. We're not going to uh, graded at all yet, we're going to spread our blend at a heavy rate. Uh, you know, the rate that we talk about um, on the label is about 20 pounds per thousand, but the greater the problem, if you have a real problem with bad soil or heavy soil, the more you use, the better. Um, there's no such thing as too much. We're attempting to give you a rate that gives you the best value. So this is six pounds of blend. Blend is the mixture of maximize, optimize, and nourish biosol. And six pounds normally would treat um, about 350 square feet. This is frequently how I apply it. Uh, you can, uh, I like to get my hands dirty. I uh, you can use a whirly bird spreader. It works uh, fine. Because I wanna really get great results and fast, I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole bag on it. And I'm gonna just spread it topically over the 100 square feet. I'll go over it a few times. As soon as I finish spreading it, um, we'll rake it out and level it uh, and uh, get ready to plant. Okay, so Paco is uh, just doing a light raking 
a lot of times people want to put the uh, blend on first and till it in, which wouldn't be a disaster, but I think you get less for your money that way. What we're trying to do is have this blend, all three products end up in the top inch or so because that's where all the micro, or not all, but most of the microbiology in your soil is, and that's where most of the action is. So we want our products to be either on top or just slightly incorporated. So now we've got the blend everywhere, uh, raked in at about an inch, and then at every plant basin, um, mess up those roots a little so they don't circle around. And then we have some uh, right on the surface, right under the uh, mulch. And then we'll use two handfuls or just a good generous amount, the more the better. And we'll put that soil right up against it and settle it in so there's no air pockets. And uh, since it's 107 today, we're going to follow this up with a really, really good watering. And um, so that's the planting process. I like to make the application of the penetrate liquid biotiller either the last thing or one of the last things because we're not going to be disturbing the colonies of bacteria that are trying to establish themselves. So to do the uh, penetrate last, uh, we get, this is our smallest container. We've got two four ounce bottles. One's labeled A, one's labeled B. The B has the bacteria in it. The A has the food for the bacteria. We keep them separate because we don't want the bacteria to eat the food until it gets in the soil. If it eats the food in the container, we don't get the benefit. Uh, I like to use a backpack sprayer. You don't have to use a backpack sprayer. You can use a hose-in sprayer. You can use uh, uh, a big bucket. You can use uh, anything, really. The amount of water that you use isn't, we have an amount to use, but you can ignore the amount. Water is the way you apply it. Water is the way it activates and you can use a little water or you can use a lot of water. The idea is just to get the product sprayed in the area you want to get it sprayed in. In this case, uh, we're going to concentrate a lot around the plants, and if I get it on the leaves, that's fine. It's good for leaves. We'll be very generous with our penetrate. And then since we've got clay everywhere, in addition to around each plant, uh, I'm going to go over the entire area again because uh, as I said, in the, in the course of tilling it, I damaged um, the bacteria and the penetrate that we applied to soften the soil. Now we have the drip in, the plants planted, and a layer of mulch. Hopefully uh, you can see that the process of changing clay soil is very doable. So if you have really hard soil or really heavy soil uh, or even really sandy soil, in this case we're talking about clay soil, then um, we're recommending an every three month application of the blend. A mainstay of our formulation is that you can put the blend on and continue to amend your soil right over the top of mulch. It's really a unique opportunity. Most people have an opportunity to change their soil when they're doing the initial work. What we attempted to do, and what I think we've been successful at, is come up with a line of products that allows you on an ongoing basis to amend your soil and improve it, infuse it with life every year or two or three times every year. And by doing that, you'll continue to get benefits as long as you continue to apply. Hey there friends, thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell. If you enjoyed this video, have any questions, or just want to say hi, let us know in the comments below. Want to learn more about our products? Then head over to our website, www.johnandbobs.com.